All right, y'all, man, what's going on, man? Let's talk about this right quick. Where I'm at, like, working-wise and everything. You know what? What's going on with me right now is, like, I'm not, I don't know how to put this, but I'm going to keep it real. For the past two months where I've been working at for this trucking company and everything, I've been kept, they've been giving us bounce paychecks. Like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm not bullshitting right now. Like, bounce paychecks to the point to where, to the point to where, like, now, we're not able to go, no, we're not able to go anywhere to go cash our checks because the company that I work for, they owe these people money because for whatever reason, I don't understand how the hell they ain't got no the money in their business account when they got 20-something trucks and we're out here hauling ass, working our asses off. You know what I mean? And I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, you know, dealing with this situation, dealing with this situation here is, is fucking up my livelihood because it's like, I had, I had to go into my damn savings account, man, you know what I mean? Just to take care of my business and everything because it's like, they over here just been giving us bounce checks like when, you know, I don't know what to say about this. This is the second, this is the second company I've been through. Excuse me. This is the second company that I that I've been that I that I've been through dealing with something like this. Now this company here where I'm at is like they're avoiding us as drivers and and they're they're really avoiding these check cashing places because they know already when you cash checks with these ca check cashing places or these mom and pop stores or whatever and their and their checks bounce, they want their money. And what I mean they want their money is to the point to where now I had to go to the spot by where I live at over here in Long Beach and everything. They cool as fuck. I've been dealing with them for years and everything. And they told me straight up. And it's at the point now to where I'm responsible. I'm liable for it because the company that I work for, they're not answering the phone or nothing like that. You know? And um, I told them straight up, you guys are not the only ones who's going through this type of situation. Um, they owe a lot of people money right now. I don't know why, how this happened. This is a trucking company. I don't, I don't know how they manage their money. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Supposedly, they ain't got no money or whatever the case may be. Supposedly, what it sounds like. But they got all these cars. They got these Mercedes. They got all this stuff and everything. But it's like, why did not put enough money in their account for it to cover our paychecks? Because at the end of the day, we got to live. You know? Some of us got families to feed. Responsibilities. You know? Now, one thing one thing about me, I ain't got no bills. I ain't got no credit cards. I don't, know, I don't owe nobody money. Nothing like that. Strictly just a car payment. Pretty much that's it. So I'm not tripping. But still, it's like, I don't work for free. You guys know me already. I'm a hardworking ass individual, man. Like, I go out here and I bust my ass. Literally, I go out here and I bust my ass. You know? And it's like, come on now. I don't know what to say no more. It's just that I'm at the, I'm at to the point now where to where, you know, I, I just got to move on. You know, I got to move on to another company. Because it's like, I can't sit here and be at this company, busting my ass, working hard and everything. Then I get a paycheck every Friday. And it's like... The shit bounces? Come on. And then, let alone, they're not answering their phone. They're not picking up their phone calls. Nothing. They're not even, like, trying to settle the issue. All they got to do, pretty much, is just write out another check. Either I take it up there or they take it up there. That's it. And it's like, they don't want to pay for nothing. It's like, come on now. Come on. I don't work for free. You know? I might sound a little bit harsh, but I don't work for free. I like to get paid. I like to save my money. I hate the fact that I got to dip into my savings account just to deal with this bullshit ass nonsense. You know what I'm saying? And let's go for anybody out here. I hate shit like this. So I'm just at this to the point now where, you know, I'm supposed to start calling other companies, people that I know out here who are own operators who do need drivers or Oh, excuse me. Or they know somebody who needs drivers and everything. Like, um, back in the day, I don't, I don't know if I ever talked about this. I used to work at Nova. I was a dispatcher. 
So I know all the owner operators at that company out there. And working for like Nova or whatever, it's just from the yard to the port. That's it, local work. And uh, some of these owner operators are up there, they'll hire a driver and they'll break 50, 50% of what that truck makes. And that's not bad. That's a pretty fair, decent paycheck right there every week. Believe me when I say that. Now, you don't talk about the numbers or whatever, but just go figure about that. Do the math of how much of a truck probably makes and split it in half. Do the math. I'm not even really going to go there. But, you know, I'm just at the point to where, you know what, I just, I just got to move up. I got to move on, man, because it's like I can't be dealing with this shit. Like I said, this has been going on for two months. Two months. Not just me. All of us, all the drivers have been having issues with their paychecks. And it's fucking with our life, our livelihood, man. Like, come on now. And it's like, they don't seem to understand that. It's like, they up there, every fucking time I see the ass and shit, nigga, smoking yes guy and shit, drunk as fuck, you know what I mean? Not worried about nothing, because they know already, they got money to cover their asses. But it's like, they're not thinking about us drivers at the end of the damn day. You, you see what I'm saying? So it's just to the point to where I just had enough, I just gotta move on, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna be real with you guys. They treated me right. They treated me. They never discriminated against me. But it's like when it comes down to the money, it's like, come on. We, I don't work for free, and anybody can relate to that. I don't work for free. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, get, I gotta get paid at the end of the day. You know, so it's like, as of right now, I just gotta do what I gotta do, and possibly gonna be moving on to another company, or. I'm about to go talk to the bank and everything and see about getting my own truck and everything just moving up as an owner operator, you know, because it's just about that time and I just gotta do what I gotta do right now, man, you know? I just had to let this out because, you know, you know, this check cash spot that I went to, when well, they told me to come out there and talk to them, it's like, it's not them, it's the people that's over them basically telling them, you know what, if the company's not answering, they're not picking up the phone, or they're not doing their part to settle the issue. Pretty much all you gotta do is write out another check. That's easy as hell to cover that one that bounced. You know, they're gonna hold me liable and responsible for it and I gotta pay back all that money. You know, and that's kind of fucked up after it's not my fault. You know what I'm saying? It's not my fault. So, you know, it's just one of those things. But um, other than that, I'm out of here.